Hi guys, it's me, Clark Ian. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this simple crop top crochet. I also add a long strings at the back to make adjustments every time you wear it. So if you were interested, just keep on watching. I'll be using the cream color of yarn in double pull with this 4mm hook. So to begin, make a slip knot. Then chain 105. This measurement is quite short. It only measures about 25.5 inches long. So if you want to make it a bit more longer, you can add more chains in multiple of 3. Make a single crochet in the second loop from the hook, then chain 1 to begin our first row. Yarn over, skip 2 loops, insert your hook into the third loop, and make 3 double crochets. Yarn over, skip 2 loops, and insert your hook in the 3rd loop, then make 3 more double crochets. Yarn over, skip 2 loops, and insert your hook in the 3rd loop, then make 3 double crochets. Repeat the same process and I'll be back once we reach second to the last loop. Yarn over, skip 2 loops, and insert your hook in second to the last loop, then make 3 double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook in the last loop, and make one double crochet. So we've already finished our first row, and this is how it would look like. Let's continue working. So turn your work. Insert your hook in the first loop, then make single crochet and chain one to begin our second row. Skip two loops and insert your hook in the third loop, then make three double crochets. Yarn over, skip 2 loops, and insert your hook in the 3rd loop, then make 3 double crochets. It is basically the same pattern as we did in the first row. Yarn over, skip 2 loops, then insert your hook in the 3rd loop and make 3 double crochets. Continue working on the same pattern and I'll be back once we reach second to the last loop.
yarn over, skip 2 loops, and insert your hook in the 3rd loop, then make 3 double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook in the last loop and make one double crochet. Repeat the same process as we did in the first and second row and I'll be back once we reach the second to the last loop in the 15th row. Yarn over, skip 2 loops and insert your hook in the second last loop and make 3 double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook in the last loop and make 1 double crochet to finish our 15th row. Once you've finished, this is how it would look like. You can also add more rows if you think this is too small. The measurements of this top is 8 inches length, 25.5 inches width. Let's continue working on. So, chain 1. So, now we will be making a side edging of this top. We will be making 2 single crochets in each rows for a total of 30 single crochets since we have 15 rows. Chain 1, insert your hook in the last single crochet that we made and make one single crochet and make one single crochet and one more single crochet. Make two single crochet at this part and make one single crochet then two single crochet and make one single crochet we will basically put one single crochet where we insert three double crochet and two single crochets in the chains that we made repeat the same pattern up until you reach the last part
chain one make one single crochet in the last single crochet that we made make two single crochets in each rows the same pattern as we did on the other side Count 13 loops from the first loop. And put a stitch marker. This is where we will be placing our straps. Now let's go on the other side and count 13 loops from the first loop. place a stitch marker on it. In the next loop from the stitch marker, count 27 loops Then place your stitch marker. The same thing in the other side. Count 27 loops, then place stitch markers. This will be the back part of our crochet crop top and this is where we'll be placing our straps and this is our front part. Okay now let's continue working on. So to begin chain 1, make a single crochet in the last single crochet that we made, then make one single crochet in each loops. Once you reach our stitch marker, make one single crochet on it, then chain 66 for our strap. This is how it would look like. Again, feel free to add more chains if you think this is too small or too short. So this is our front part of the chain. And this is our back part. And this is where we will be working on. So make a single crochet in each loops from the back part of the chain.
it's a bit difficult but this is how it would look like so just continue working on up until you reach the last part I also like to add one more single crochet in the last single crochet that we made then continue working on with a single crochet in the next from the stitch marker so continue working on with one single crochet in each loop and once you reach the stitch marker put a one single crochet on it then chain 66 for our strap and continue working on up until you finish the entire row So now we are here at the last part so make a single crochet at the very first single crochet that we made instead of making a slip stitch. So chain 1, then cut your yarn. Now we have a total of 4 straps, 2 in the front part and 2 at the back part. In making the crop top, we were working on double pull, so now we will be working on four pull of yarn to make the string. So make a slip knot. Then chain 250. So again, if you think this is too short, you can also add more chains if you want. Once you reach the last chain, cut your yarn and pull it to secure. Then cut the excess yarn in equal length and this is how our string would look like. And now I will show you how to put the strings on the crop top. So first insert the string at the very top part of the crochet crop top, both sides. Afterwards, make sure that the strings has its equal length. Next is count three rows, then insert your string at the third row. The same thing as on the other side. Again, count three more rows downwards and insert your string. So just basically continue doing the same thing up until you reach the bottom part of our crochet crop top. Thank you. 
And now that we are here at the last part, so skip the 14th row and insert your string at the 15th row. And do the same thing as on the other side and we're done. This is how it would look like at the back part. And this is our front part. So if you want your crop top to be as plain as this, this is actually finished. But I wanted to add more design so I'll be making a flower and put it in our crop top to add more detail. In making a flower, I'll be using this 3mm hoop and a double pull of this yarn. So now let's make a slip knot. And now chain 5. And make a slip stitch on the first chain. Chain 1. Then make a single crochet on the ring part and chain 1 to begin our row. Yarn over, insert your hook in the ring part, then make 15 double crochets for a total of 16 double crochets at the end since the first single crochet and one chain that we made at the first part counts as first double crochet. And once you are done, make a slip stitch at the chain that we made at the beginning. And now chain 1, make a single crochet at the same loop, and chain 1. This will be count as one double crochet. So chain 2, yarn over, skip one loop and insert your hook at the next loop then make one double crochet. Chain 2, yarn over, skip 1 loop and insert your hook on the next loop, then make 1 double crochet. Continue doing the same pattern until you finish this round. Now we are here at the last part, so chain 2 and make a slip stitch at the very first chain that we made at the beginning. And this is how it would look like. Chain 1 and cut your yarn. Let's change the color in yellow to make the petals. So to begin, make a slip knot. And chain 1, then tie the two excess yarns. Now, chain 1, make a single crochet in the two chains that we made. And chain once more to begin our petals then make a two yarn over and make a triple crochet in the chains that we made so continue working on make another 
four triple crochets in this petal. Once you finish making 5 triple crochets, chain 1 and make a single crochet at the same space. So just repeat the same pattern in making 1 single crochet, then chain 1, and 5 triple crochet, chain 1, and 1 single crochet at the same space up until you completed a total of 8 petals. Once you finish making petals, make a slip stitch at the very first chain that we made. Chain 1 and cut your yarn. So this is how it would look like. So let's change the color in darker yellow. Make a slip knot. Chain 1 to connect the yarn. Then chain 4. Connect the yarn in the next double crochet that we made. Then chain 4. Repeat the same process until you finish the whole round. Now make a slip stitch, chain 1, and repeat the same pattern as we make in making a petal by making 1 single crochet, chain 1, 5 triple crochet, chain 1, and 1 single crochet at the same space for a total of 8 petals again. Once you finish, make a slip stitch at the very first chain that we made. Chain 1 and cut your yarn. Tie and remove the excess yarns, then this is how your flower would look like. So we will be placing the flower at the middle part of the crop top crochet like this. We will be using this yarn needle and attaching the flower on the crop top crochet. Make sure that the flower is at the middle part.
So once you've finished, just tie this excess yarn and I want to show you the inside part of the crop of crochet. So as you can see, it is clean. So once you've finished hiding the excess yarn, this is how our crop top crochet would look like. So that's it guys. I hope you like it and I hope you learned something. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on my Instagram account at CIDT underscore crochet. And that's all guys. Thank you for watching. Bye!